Hi. In this tutorial, you will learn how to create stateful Algorand smart contracts in Python with PyTeal. You might have heard of PyTeal. So, what it is? PyTeal is Python language binding for writing Algorand smart contracts. Recently, PyTeal has been updated to enable developers to create TLV2 and stateful smart contracts. If you're not familiar with it, quickly check out this overview. GetHub link can be found in the description. This new version of PyTeal adds many new operations and the ability to store state on the Algorand blockchain. Let's check out these features. Imperative programming. One of the big differences between TLV1 and V2 is a TL program's ability to not only signal success or failure with a return code, but to also produce side effects on data stored in the Algorand blockchain. As a result, we have augmented PyTeal's functional programming interfaces with support for imperative programming. PyTeal V0.6.0 improves programmers' ability to manage control flow on a granular level, adding the following. SEQ, a new expression for creating a sequence of expressions. Assert, a new expression for asserting that a condition is true. Return, exits the program with a return code. And a single branch if statements. Additionally, programmers can manipulate state with new PyTeal operations such as Reading and writing to application global state with app.global put, app.global get, and app.global del Reading and writing to account local state with app.local put, app.local get, and app.local del Performing extended reads with app.local get x and app.global get x. Reading and writing to temporary scratch slots with scratch load and scratch store. Also, New features were added to make writing TLV2 applications easier and more powerful. 1. Bitwise arithmetic expressions. 2. The ability to create byte strings from UTF-8 strings. 3. Defining what type of smart contract you are writing with mode.signature and mode.application. 4. A new way to compile PyTeal programs. Let us consider a stateful example. The biggest new feature in this release of PyTeal is the ability to create stateful smart contracts, which have the ability to read and write key value pairs on the Algorand blockchain. This allows smart contracts to perform complex tasks, like running auctions, managing crowdfunding campaigns, or hosting a survey or poll. Now we will take a look at a smart contract that implements a basic voting application with PyTeal. This example has two main parts, the approval underscore program and clear underscore state underscore program functions. In a stateful smart contract, the approval program is responsible for most application calls, including accounts opting into a contract. There are two ways for an account to opt out of a smart contract, 1. Closing out. 2. Clearing state. The approval program is used to close out accounts, and it can control if a close out is allowed or not. The clear state program is responsible for clearing an account's state, and this method of opting out cannot be stopped by the smart contract. In this example, Closing out and clearing state are handled the same way, so the contents of the clear state program is the same as the on underscore closeout branch of the approval program. 
copy and paste the following code in the your editor. For simplicity, I recommend Visual Studio Code. Link to full code is available in the description. This line holds a sequence of expressions such as the creator which is of type byte sets to the initiator, an assertion, checking that length of arguments in this function does not exceed or not less than 4, registration begin, of type bytes, set to first parameter in the list, registration end, of type bytes, set to second parameter, vote begin, of type bytes, set to third parameter and vote end, of type bytes, set to fourth parameter. pointer is underscore creator ensures that the caller be the creator not other than address earlier specified in on underscore creation it accepts an algorand address of type bytes extracts individual vote using an id and store temporarily using app.local get x function on underscore closeout holds a sequence of expressions as checks for closing out the votes. It returns unsigned integer 1 equivalent to success if all of the conditions in the expressions evaluates to true. This line returns the vote begin time and vote end time. On vote, a sequence of expressions, asserting that the vote has begun, by checking that current round is greater than or equals to the set vote begin time, and the vote has not ended, and, get the individual vote only if participant has voted, else, return failure, and, ensure that candidate choice of voter corresponds to the initially selected, and set the status of voter to voted. If all the conditions are true, the program returns success. Main conditional this statement is the heart of the smart contract. Based on how the contract is called, it chooses which operation to run. For example, if transaction.application underscore ID returns zero, then the code from onCreation runs. If transaction.onCompletion returned onComplete.optIn, then onRegister runs. If the first argument from transaction.application list is vote, then onVote runs. If none of these cases are true, then the program will exit with an error. Let's look at each of these cases. This part of the program is responsible for setting up the initial state of the smart contract. It writes the following keys to its global state, creator, reg begin, reg end, vote begin, vote end. The values of these keys are determined by the application call arguments from the transaction.application args list. This code runs wherever an account opts into the smart contract. It returns true if the current round is between reg begin and reg end, meaning that registration can only occur during this period. This section is responsible for casting an account's vote. First, on underscore vote uses an assert statement to make sure the current round is within vote begin and vote end. Then, get vote of sender is used to check whether the sender's account has the key voted in their local state. The variable get vote of sender is defined earlier in the program as the value of app.local get x, int, 0, app.id, bytes, voted, which is an extended get operation. In contrast to normal get operations, the extended version lets us check if a key exists instead of returning a default value of 0 for missing keys. If the account has the voted key in their local state, they have already voted and the program fails by returning zero. If the account has not yet voted, the program gets the choice that the sender wants to vote for from transaction.application underscore args list. It also gets choice underscore tally, the current number of votes that choice has. The code increases the tally by one and writes the new value back to global state. Then. It records that the account has successfully voted by writing the choice they voted for to the key voted in their account's local state. Lastly, 
the onclose out code is similar, except it discards an account's vote when they opt out of the smart contract. Stateful smart contracts are powerful tools, and the latest version of PyTeal can make writing them easier. More examples of stateful and stateless contracts in PyTeal are available in the documentation. Additionally, the complete guide for manipulating state with PyTeal is a great resource that can help clear up how state works and what you can do with it. To install PyTeal, and for relevant links, check the description in this video. Subscribe to the developer newsletter to get the latest news on PyTeal and Algorand's other developer tools. All links are in the description below.